What makes a pair of headphones premium? I want you to go ahead and take a moment and comment that because it's something that I've struggled with when making this review of the Fiti Hi-Fi Dots. Now, it goes without saying that in my opinion, the Fiti Hi-Fi Dots are definitely S tier headphones. And if you wanna go ahead and see all of the rankings for headphones that I've reviewed on this channel, I'll have a link to my website where I have like a whole tier list that I update all the time with playlists of videos for S tier, A tier, and it's a great resource for you guys if you're looking to buy a pair of headphones. On my website, I have S tier headphones defined as a pair of headphones that have a premium feature set or premium features that make them stand out above the rest. But I think that it begs the question of, can you just be a pair of premium headphones if you have a premium design or premium build qualities? Maybe the materials used are premium. Or in the case of the Pixel Buds Pro, uh, the software experience that goes with them and things like real-time EQ makes them more premium. But today, we're talking about a pair of headphones that opens like this. Now, in full transparency, Feetee sent me these headphones for review. No money changed hands. This isn't a sponsored video. They don't get to see it before you guys do. This is just my honest review for you guys, and you guys know that I like to keep it real with you. Now, as always, in all of my reviews, I'm gonna have chapters so you guys can skip around to find the most helpful parts of this video. But if you've been on this channel before, you'll know that we start off with the specs. And the specs of the Fiti Hi-Fi Dots are really pretty special. They feature a Qualcomm 3071 chipset, which is the newest chipset from Qualcomm. It supports lossless app decks with up to 16-bit audio at a bit rate of 1.2 megabits per second over Bluetooth 5.3, if your device supports it. We'll talk about that towards the end. We have two balanced armature drivers and one dynamic driver per headphone, meaning you get a total of six drivers in each of these headphones. We have multi-point connectivity, meaning you can connect them to it. Starting off on the outside, the case of the Fiti Hi-Fi Dots is the most premium case that I've ever seen. It is really, really heavy and it feels solid in your hand. It's made of metal and you really feel like you're holding a quality premium product. It's got this awesome metal latch that feels almost like a classic watch or a gun. It feels so precise and accurate. I really like the design of this case. The case features a button to go ahead and open it, and there's an LED indicator light along with a USB-C port to charge them on the bottom. Unfortunately though, this LED indicator light is a monochrome LED indicator light, and you can't see what percentage of battery life is left in it. It doesn't have different colors or different flashing patterns. They just kind of die when they die. And it's kind of a bummer. And I wish that there was a uh, multicolored LED indicator light because that would really take them up a notch. Pulling these headphones out of the case, the headphones themselves are really nice and compact. And I can understand why they have limited battery life because they have to fit three drivers, a battery, and three microphones along with LED indicator lights in a really small headphone. The headphones have a really small kind of like nano stem, I would say, and a directional microphone on the bottom. They also have these customizable LED indicator lights on the side, and I took them with me to the gym today, and they felt pretty secure in the gym. They offer you a bunch of different ear tips to go ahead and customize that fit a little bit more. And I would say that these headphones would definitely be a viable option for someone that wants an all-in-one solution, including going to the gym, especially because they're IPX7. Next up, we gotta talk a little bit about the gaming and latency mode because depending upon which device you're pairing them with, you're gonna have different levels of app decks. And that's part of the love and hate relationship with them. Now, for the gaming test, I went ahead and I put them in the gaming mode. So, see for yourself. ...in this whole Pixel Lamb devices, especially at the price point, was updates. And that's something that they have updated. Seven years of OS feature drops and security patches is insane. And it is by far... If you're a hardcore gamer, you're still gonna want wired headphones. 
That being said, these headphones are totally fine for media consumption. The latency that you have is negligible. And when you turn on the low latency mode, it does get a little bit better. Maybe more important is the micro. What's up guys? You're hearing me on the CT Hi-Fi Dot. Right now I'm outside, there's some gardener sounds, but relatively quiet environment. Let me know how I sound. Now you're hearing me on the CT Hi-Fi Dots with some simulated crowd background noise. This would probably be the easiest background noise to cancel out simply because it's following a consistent pattern, but you tell me how it sounds. And as you guys could hear, these headphones mic sounds really, really good. I'm not sure how great it sounds in a busy, super crowded environment that's got kind of irregular noise. Uh, that comes from more of an algorithm that kind of focuses in on the sound of your voice versus trying to figure out the sounds in the background and kind of remove those. Uh, but overall, I've taken business calls with these and it's been totally fine. You might want a dedicated headset if you work in a crowded environment, but I think for most people, you're gonna be happy with the quality of the mic of these headphones. Next up though, we need to talk about the app. The app itself is really bare bones and it allows you to do a little bit of EQ tuning, which we will talk about when we talk about sound. It allows you to customize the controls to your liking, which is fantastic. I think the controls of these are awesome out of the box. And it allows you to go ahead and control and kind of program the LED indicator lights on the side of the headphone, allowing you to completely turn them off if you want, which I think is awesome. Okay. Next up though, we gotta talk about the sound quality, the ANC, and just the overall listening experience. Because with ANC on, there's a bit of like a low hum that's supposed to cancel out noise in the background. You hear it when you turn on ANC and there's no music playing. My experience with the ANC with these is that it is Average at best. You aren't going to be buying these headphones for the ANC specifically, although it does a decent job. It definitely doesn't hold a candle though to something like my Pixel Buds Pro, and these headphones are retailing pretty close to the Pixel Buds right now. Sound quality. Sound quality of these is phenomenal. They are without a doubt the best sounding headphones I've ever used. If you take the time to tune the EQ, to match whatever style of music you're listening to. The EQ of these is really, really granular and allows you to do a lot of different frequency control, which is great. I tested these headphones with everything from modern rock, classic rock, hip hop, funk, uh, funk uh, jazz, even a little bit of like emo music from my childhood, like Fall Out Boy, Panic at the Disco, My Chemical Romance, Story of the Year, etc. And these headphones performed really, really well. If you tune the bass and you turn it up how you want, you can get a really nice, well-controlled, punchy bass that really kind of gives you a nice thump. You also get bright, bright highs that never become shrill. You get pretty good definition in the highs and the mids definitely need to be turned up a little bit from the factory. I chose to tune these headphones for most of my listening needs with a bit of a W curve so that I get a little bit more on the low end, more on the mid for like the vocals that I want and bright enough highs. And I found that with a little bit of tweaking, these headphones sound great with a lot of different types of music. If you are a bass head though, you definitely can turn the bass of these up, but I wouldn't say that these are bass head approved headphones. Shout out Al Jefe. But overall, these headphones do sound absolutely phenomenal, no matter what you listen to. And if you have a device that is compatible with lossless app decks and you can get that really high bit rate, you are going to be in for a real treat. Next up though, we need to talk about the user experience. The user experience of these headphones has been a bit of a mixed bag. I say it's been a bit of a mixed bag simply because all of the features or some of the features, especially the lossless aptex that kind of make these headphones a premium offering, the fact that they combine the lossless aptex with the ability to have that three driver setup and all of this customizability in the EQ, that is awesome. But if you have an Apple device, a Google device, a Samsung device, you are probably not going to be able to have compatibility with it. 
And maybe Motorola, but I'm not even sure. Uh, the only devices that I'm aware of that have full compatibility with Snapdragon Sound, lossless app decks, et cetera, are devices from Chinese OEMs, such as BBK, which make Oppo, Realme, iQ, Vivo, and OnePlus, or any of the Xiaomi brands like Xiaomi, Redmi, or Poco. All of those brands have adopted the more uh, exotic codecs from Qualcomm, and you would be able to take advantage of that with these headphones, which is pretty cool. That said, I'm not sure that you're going to necessarily be able to hear the difference because this is very dependent on you going in and tweaking stuff and making sure you have the highest bit rate. All of that kind of brings us back around to this user experience, which has been really good. And I'm not exactly sure if they make it into the ultra premium or whatever makes headphones premium type of thing, but I think that for a lot of people, these headphones are definitely going to be a premium experience because the sound quality is great. They have fine ANC battery life, could be better, but they have multi-point and they have a fantastically made case that feels great every time you open it. I'll have links to where you guys can go ahead and pick these up. Check out my website with a full tier list. And until next time, peace.